It's a late summer evening and I'm pretty excited. I'm in a good mood. I'm holding my phone in one hand and I'm staring at it intently. Because for the past week, I've been working on a video really, really hard. I have big hopes for this video. And to be honest, the rest of my week's been pretty shit. And so I put my happiness into this video. I worked really hard on it and I think it's a really good idea. I put in a lot of effort, time and money into it, perfecting every detail. It has to go viral, I'm certain. If this video does well, I'll let myself be happy again. And so what I'm actually looking at on my phone is YouTube Studio. I schedule my video to go live at 8 p.m. my time. And right now it's 7.59. Any second, I'm refreshing the page, I'm refreshing it and boom, it's gone up. I'm excited. This is it. I'm going to go viral. Hundreds of thousands of views, sponsorships from everyone, living the dream life and then reality shatters. What? YouTube showing me that less people than normal are watching this video. The hell? This can't be. So I'm sitting there, neurotically refreshing my YouTube studio, watching each impression go up, each view go up, and looking at all my statistics. And if you guys have done YouTube before, you know that YouTube has this insidious evil feature where it gives your video a ranking compared to your last videos you've made. And this was rock bottom 10 out of 10. No, 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 no. Why is my CTR so low? Why is it not getting impressions? Is something wrong with the thumbnail? F man. Suddenly the air around me is too hot. I'm sweating and the shirt clings to my skin. My excitement is replaced by a sense of distraught, pissed offness. I'm clinically pissed off. And the worst part is, I really liked this video, man. I really did. I'd enjoyed making it and I really had high hopes, but YouTube just showed me a grey down arrow saying 10 out of 10, bro. Your video sucks. I thought this was it, but I guess not. So I'm pissed and everything starts crumbling. I snap at my parents. I feel flustered and angry at the world. This whole week's been shit and now it's even worse because I placed my happiness on this video and it didn't go the way I wanted it to. Before I know it, I get an urge. I should just go and watch porn. I should just go and play video games. I should just delete my channel. I snap out for a second and think, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did that come from? I had been clean from video games and porn for over a year at that point. And my video not getting a lot of views as I had hoped caused serious sudden relapse thoughts to enter my mind. And this even led to me thinking I should just delete my YouTube channel. Fuck it, it's not even going that good. Because as I said, this week had been really shit. And normally I don't even care if my videos don't get a lot of views because I know it's a long game. But at that moment, I genuinely considered deleting my YouTube channel because it's not worth it. No one's even watching my videos. I worked so hard because this was the hardest I've ever worked on a video. Imagine that. My low effort videos got more views than this. I seriously consider quitting YouTube. And before I know it, the rational side of my brain has been taken over by the irrational side and I download the games I had promised myself I wouldn't download. I re-download TikTok and I feel worse and worse about myself. Luckily, I don't delete my channel, but I end up wasting hours upon hours, feeling worse and worse as I play these video games that don't even make me feel better. I lose game after game in the video game as well, bro, and it feels fucking shit, man. All because of the way my video had performed. It was all because I wanted to escape the uncomfortableness and this thing, this feeling hadn't gone away. Not everyone's a YouTuber, but it's the same with studying. You study for a long time for that test. You put in a lot of effort and you think you're gonna do well. You put your effort and happiness into that test, but sometimes you're just gonna be do shit regardless, right? What I've learned is you have to separate what you can and can't control. You can spend hours making the best paper boat. Once you put it on the water, once you put it out to sea, there's nothing you can do but watch and let nature take its course. And thinking back now, I had so much fun recording that video. It wasn't this normal like talking video, I remember it was like a challenge video. Each day, I woke up excited to record the next day of that video. It was so fun, it was my favourite. I should have placed that video on the sea, not caring about what happens, right? Because the memories, the enjoyment, the self-love I had to that video overpowers the views, the video metrics that come with it. I enjoyed the process of making the video. And like if a big ass wave came and knocked my boat over, sure it sucked, but there's nothing you could have done about it, right? Can you control the views you get on your video? Can you control which way your coach is looking when they're looking out for tryouts? Bro, it sucks. I know, I've been there. But the thing I can control is putting in the love, care and attention and effort into the videos that I make. I can put the time and effort into studying, but as soon as I walk out of that exam hall, there's nothing more I can do. As soon as I post the video, it could be the best video in the world. But if YouTube analytics is like bugging, I missed a tag, all these like irrelevant things, seemingly random things that makes videos go viral, there's nothing more I can do. I can control how I react. The reason I wanted to do and wanted to perform was because I had placed my happiness in that video. I told myself I would be happy if that video goes well. But can you see the problem with that? 
if that's not fulfilled i sink lower and lower and it's like this addictive state just one more round i was like addicted to drugs it was it was that bad i was addicted to seeing getting social validation of this video when in fact i started this youtube channel because of an intrinsic motivation i just wanted to make videos and have fun with it but at the end of the day the number of views the grade i got doesn't matter rather the process because i could have made a really low quality video and that could have gone viral right just out of luck i could have got a really lucky marker they could have miscounted my test and i could have got that good grade i could have scraped that grade but if i didn't enjoy the process if i couldn't replicate the process it would just be a one-off that's why you see youtubers who get 10,000 views and then they only get like single digit views after that that's why you see someone scrape a, like an a star on that one test but then they end up getting c's for the rest because they didn't enjoy the process they didn't internalize the process if something goes very well in your life that's great but don't place your expectations there. Whenever I go into a week, whenever I go into a month, whenever I go into anything, I don't have expectations for that. And that's because it's good to have goals and knowing what you can do to achieve that. But going into something, expecting something to happen is negative. You've been stressing right now, I know, over shit that you can't control. You're stressing over how at a football club, like your coach isn't looking at you doing tryouts. You're stressing out over all these things that you can't control. That's the messed up nature of it. A false sense of control is the biggest thing that keeps you like sticking back. You saw that negative feedback loop that it had of me. Imagine just like one more bad thing had happened. Like I'd had one more argument that week with my parents. I actually might have ended up deleting my YouTube channel. We feel frustrated and angry, but if you really think about it, what is that anger or frustration directed at? <laughs> anger and frustration are emotions that were we evolved to be able to express at something, to remedy, to fix it. When we express anger at our parents, evolutionarily, it was a way for them to see that we're in an emotional state and they try to make it better. But when we're angry at YouTube analytics, when we're angry at our, the marker of the test, all these things we can't control, the anger that we're directing at is to nothing. And that's how you know how useless and wasteful it is. Be happy and be present. When we were younger, I used to not care about all these external factors because we lived in the present moment. Bro, I just fucking swim in the sea. I pick off leaves and make stuff with cardboard i didn't care about youtube analytics social validation tiktok likes it's all after this social media that our happiness depends on external metrics all these different things comparing comparison is the thief of joy man they're taking away happiness i compare my videos against other ones against other people's i place my happiness and wanted to get the views and it didn't serve me in any way letting yourself get caught up in this negativity spiral is so easy to get sucked in it's like a whirlpool and once you're in you sink lower and lower i constantly find like even after that point me caring about the number of views my videos got i find myself keep refreshing the youtube analytics but i keep reminding myself that it doesn't matter i think back to that time this one time i'm telling you about and i calm down enjoy the process and suddenly i realized i enjoy making that video and it doesn't matter how this video performed because i know that there will be at least one person this video helps and if it doesn't help anyone at least it's helping me myself and that's what i've learned if you enjoy these student stories let me know in the description so i can keep making more because i actually enjoy making these quite a lot if you want to share your own student stories join superior students my free online community of international students so you can get advice from other students you can share how what you've learned as a student and i think it's a really really valuable tool first thing in the description take action my phone buzz like ringing with Chanel was you